Good afternoon, everyone. So I hope you're having a wonderful day. It's been interesting here. Well, it, this morning was interesting. As I was getting ready for work, I heard a car horn doing Morse code. And I was like, I wonder what that's about. Um, after I got in the car and was getting ready to leave, it stopped and I was like, hmm, that was interesting. Um, other than that, today's been a really chill day. I mean, just effortless, flowing, a lot of people around me saying they're super tired and I'm like, well, I'm feeling pretty good and quite neutral about stuff. Uh, so much so that uh, one of the things I was reading this morning, well, two things I was reading this morning. The first one is the Ascension Pathway. Uh, it's in from the ensoulment section on shreeandkira.com. Go to uh, find Ascension Pathway and then go to, I think it's lesson number four, activation of the cosmic DNA. So in Tosa, I was very, very drawn to the Trinity Lakes there. And a lot of rising energy. How about that? Anyway, uh, this was one of the series that I had been reading bef prior to going to Tosa. And or well, it was either reading it or I was listening to it as I was falling asleep. And I am pretty sure I got stuck on this one. So, because it was at night and I was falling asleep, so that's why I'm pretty sure. Anyway, one of the quotes from it is, To give without the need to receive is to receive the bounty of the universe. To give without the need to receive. Now this is, I was musing over this this morning, and I have always known that. And I will tell you that the first time I ever made a donation, okay, I was so happy. I was so proud of myself. You know, I was 18. I was in my Monza, not a Mazda, a Monza. <laughs> that engine just always shook back and forth anytime you put it into gear. It was missing a motor mount, <laughs> but it was cute. Um, I went and I made my donation. I was so happy. I was getting rid of some clothing and stuff like that. And, you know, hey, somebody else is going to enjoy it. I kid you not, as soon as I get out of the car once I'm back at the house, all of a sudden I hear my little voice in my head go, ha ha, now good things will come to us. And I'm like, what the hell was that? So I've kind of held back on making any donations, the, you know, just giving things away and stuff like that, unless it's like, I know I'm paying attention, I'm in my highest. Boom, here it is. And then it's just relaxing through it. So I'm kind of working through that energy. I'm, I don't know where it came from, so I'm exploring. <laughs> Yay me! Uh, the other thing that I did was, so I've been reading, like I said, the Ascended Masters, Ascended Master Love and Truth. And this is actually volume two. Now, from page 193, there's a quote here, okay? And it is, there is only one type of leader that will last. That is the one who vows to serve life. And this quote, on top of other synchronicities, has captured my attention. And... It gives me goosebumps every time I read between the pages 190 to 195. And then there's one more small section in there. And I, it's, an, it, it's incredible, this, this heart energy that comes every time I read it. Overall, the gist of it is, make sure you pay attention and ask yourself the right questions, keep diving in. Your spiritual tenacity is super important. No one can take your power unless you give it to them willingly. You know, you, you can be easily disempowered if you don't trust that small voice and just pay attention, okay? In that, I know that I have already been shown things and I'm reluctant to really fall, not really follow through, 
but it hasn't registered yet. Does that make sense? I know it does because I'm not, this can't be, I cannot be the only person that this is happening to. So have a beautiful day. Be your beautiful self and I will talk to you later. Bye for now.